Hey, Nina. Nina. Nina B. Look, a bald eagle. Oh, fuck. Not funny. The seven sessions. Hey everybody, Robbie Pomodoro here. Welcome to the Celery Sessions. Today we're out in the wilderness. I hope I don't get killed by a bear. Today, me and Nina are going fishing and we're going to cook some trout. Let's do this. Let's say hi to my co-host and producer, Nina B. Hi, Nina. How you doing? I am cold. Why are we out here? Nina, I told you to dress for fall, not for fashion. Because it's cold. I wore orange, so my fit matches the leaves. All right, <laughs> great. Why don't you tell everybody what we're making today? Hit the like and subscribe button, or I will tell your small children that Santa Claus doesn't exist. Not true, and we usually say that for the end of the show. But if you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. We'd really appreciate it. Guess it's up to me to tell you what we're making today. First, I caught this trout. I wasn't able to film it, but I did. I swear. So let me tell you what we're making today. Ooh, we're making some salt-baked rainbow trout with horseradish ice cream and some beet paint. Okay, that's what you want. Some unconventional ice cream when you're freezing your ass off. So we have our dead-ass trout, some beets, some horseradish, and some aromatics. Let's get to cooking. All right, I gutted this fish, and I have a nice, healthy liver here. We'll be using that for the dish. And in his belly, I found this legless stink bug. Guess that guy was in the wrong neighborhood. And here is, I don't know what that is, but he's, he's getting his fiber in. That's all I know. Okay, stuffed his gutless belly with some citrus and some thyme and some rosemary. And here is a combination of kosher and pink Himalayan sea salt. And a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between pink Himalayan sea salt and kosher salt? The price. That's it. Salt is salt, people. I'm sorry. Sue me. Now... I'm going to put even more salt, and I'm going to cover up his eyeball so he can peacefully go to sleep. There you go, buddy. You can't see a thing. All right, totally covered in salt. This is enough salt to last that dumbass salt bay guy a week, maybe. A lot of salt. Now, out of the oven. Hey, Nina, you want to try to break the salt crust and help out a little bit? Ouch, that shit is hot. I can't break it. Robbie Pomodoro to the rescue. Slam a jam this right in there and we'll break it right up. There's some biblical shit going on here. It's like opening up the crypt. I don't know. But, hey, what do you do? All right, looks like there's no moisture left in this fish, but don't let it fool you. It is moist, tender, and juicy on the inside. Trust me. Time to put on our pointless beet paint so people think we're edgy and important. Maybe we'll rise Jackson Pollock from his grave. I don't know. And now time for some golden beet swirl, reduction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, being part of the hipster nation, I guess. Horseradish ice cream on the plate. Oh, look, I got my fancy tweezers. If I bought those tweezers to work 20 years ago, they'd be like, what the hell is that? Now I got that beautiful trout on there. I'm going to put place it gently on there. It's not over yet. Now we're going to add some blackened catfish. I mean rainbow trout liver. It smells like somebody put tender vittles in the microwave on the popcorn setting. All right, the dish is almost complete. Word of advice, don't put a molten hot fish head next to some ice cream. Pointless edible flour. Looks like this guy showed up early to a fish zombie party. And that, everyone, is emotional, assertive cuisine. 
Thanks for checking this out. Oh, shit. Robbie, Good. the dumb baby Stay lobster calm. has my hair. Once again, thanks for checking us out. Robbie Pomodoro, Nina DeBorg. See you guys next week. Thank you so much.